So when talking about improvisation, Mose is a topic that comes up very often. Many musicians may know about modes, but they are unsure of how to use them when improvising. So in this two-part series, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the seven modes of the major scale and how they can be used in improvisation. Hey, Jason here with the Smooth Jazz Sax School. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you know when I upload more videos that can help you in your saxophone journey. So in this video uh, today, I'm going to be teaching you guys about the seven modes of the major scale, uh, what they are and how they are constructed. Uh, in next week's video, I'll go over with you guys the modes, which modes are you are used the most and how they are used in improvisation. So what are modes? A mode is basically just a scale based off of the major scale. Uh, there are modes based off of the minor scales, uh, but the most common are the modes of the major scale. And that's what we'll be focusing on in this video today. And modes are a major part of the harmonic foundation of improvisation. That's why learning all of your modes and applying them uh, should be a priority, in my opinion, when learning uh, about improvisation. So every major scale has seven modes, like I said before. The name of the modes are Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian, and Locrian. Uh, so if you know your major scales and your natural minor scales, then you already know the Ionian mode and the Aeolian mode. All right, so the first mode, uh, like I said, is called the Ionian mode. Okay, so this mode is just basically the major scale. So if you know your major scale, you already know the Ionian mode. So if we're in the key of C, that'll be... C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, right? So it'd be, it sounds something like this. Okay, so this should be the first mode that you uh, learn, okay? You don't want to practice the other modes unless you learn this first mode because this right here is the foundation uh, for all the other modes, okay? So if you don't know your Ionian mode, which is the major scale, then it will be difficult for you to learn the other six modes, okay? So start off with the Ionian mode, learn the Ionian mode in all 12 keys. Okay, so the second mode is called the Dorian mode, okay? So this Dorian mode, uh, to create the Dorian mode, the Dorian mode, okay, uh, what you do, you basically start, you're going to play the C major scale, but instead of going from C to C, you're going to go from D to D, okay, so D is the second scale degree in the C major scale, so this is why this is the second mode. So you're going to play from D to D, playing all the notes in the C major scale. So that'll be D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. It'll sound like this. Okay, so that's D to D, which D is the second scale degree of the C major scale. Okay, so the third mode is called the Phrygian mode, okay? And E is the third scale degree uh, of the C major scale. So you basically do E to E, playing all the notes in the C major scale. So E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E, okay? So this is called the E Phrygian scale. It'll sound like this. All 
The next mode is the 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 fourth mode is called the Lydian mode. Okay, so Lydian, so F is a fourth scale degree in the C major scale, so it'll be F Lydian. Okay, so F Lydian scale. So those notes are F G A B C D E and F. <laughs> The fifth mode is the mixolydian mode. Okay, so uh, G is the fifth scale degree in in the C major scale. So you have G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay, and then we have the sixth mode, which is uh, the Aeolian mode. Okay, so the sixth mode is called the Aeolian mode. And if you know your natural minor scales already, uh, then you know the Aeolian mode. Okay, the, the Aeolian scale. So the Aeolian mode is just basically the natural minor scale. Okay, and A is the sixth mode in C, right, in the C major scale. So you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. Okay, so A is the sixth scale degree in the C major scale. So we have A, Aeolian scale. And the last mode that we have is the Locrian mode. Okay, and this is the seventh mode of the major scale. And so in the key of C, uh, B is a seven scale degree. Okay, so it'll be B Locrian. So you start from B all the way to B, playing all the notes of the C major scale. So you got B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. So that's one way that you can practice the modes. Uh, you can take the, the major scale and go up in the modes that way relatively. So if you was in the key of G major, you can do uh, play G Ionian, A Dorian, B Phrygian, C Lydian, D uh, Mixolydian, A Aeolian, F sharp Locrian, and then G. Well, and that's it, right? Now, the other way that you should practice your modes so you can really hear the difference between the modes is to practice it uh, in a parallel uh, form, right? For example, uh, so we'll do G Ionian, which is the G major scale, right? Then we want to play G Dorian. Then we want to play G Phrygian, G Lydian, G Mixolydian, G Aeolian, and G Locrian. Okay, so this is how it would uh, sound. So G Ionian is just basically the G major scale, right? So those notes are G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. Okay, then we would have G Dorian. So G is the second scale degree of F, right? So uh, so G Dorian will be G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay, so you're gonna play all the notes of the F major scale, just starting from G to G. Okay, then we want to go upper mode. So Phrygian is the next mode, right? So G Phrygian. Uh, so G is the third scale degree of E flat, right? So G Phrygian would sound like this. Well, first off, the notes are G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and G.
And then we have G Lydian. Lydian is the fourth mode, right? So G is the fourth scale degree of D. So you basically play your D major scale starting from G all the way up to uh, G. So you got G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, and G. And then the next mode we have is Mixolydian. So uh, the Mixolydian mode is the fifth mode of the major scale. So G Mixolydian uh, would be, so G is the, is the fifth scale degree of C major, right? So we learned that one already. So you have G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So, so that would sound like this. Okay, and then the next mode we have is Aeolian. Okay, so Aeolian is the sixth mode of the major scale. So G is the sixth scale degree of um, of B flat, right? Sorry, I had a um, brain fart. So G is the sixth scale degree of B flat. Okay, so remember this is the natural minor scale. So if you know your natural minor scale, this one should be easy. Uh, but basically you have G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and G. Okay, and the last mode is the Locrian mode. So remember the Locrian mode is the seventh mode of the major scale. So if you have so G is the G is the seventh scale degree of A flat, right? So you have G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, and G. Okay, so this is probably the best way to practice it. First, I will practice it. Uh, the way that I showed you at first, uh, relatively, uh, which is you go up the scale, so you got G, A, B, C, D, E, F, F sharp, right? But the best way to practice it after you learn it that way, and this will really test if you know your modes, is to practice it just like I just showed you uh, in a parallel motion. Okay, so G, Ionian, G, Dorian. G Phrygian, G Lydian, G Mixolydian, G Aeolian, and G Locrian. Okay, so you do that for every, uh, every, all 12 notes. Okay, so all 12 notes. So you do it for C, C sharp, D, and so on. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, enjoyed this lesson. Uh, make sure, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when I uh, put out more videos like this one. And don't forget that next week, in next week's lesson, I'm going to be showing you guys how to implement the modes in improvisation. Okay, we're going to talk about chord scale relationships. So I'll see you guys next time.